What's happening, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Boba and Basketball, the show where I talk about my two favorite kind of balls, Boba and Basketball. I am in Marina Del Rey in the city of Los Angeles, California. That's right, guys. I am in La La Land. And anyone who knows me knows how much I love that movie. But I'm in LA today to get some boba, to watch some basketball, and to get some really good food. I hope you guys are excited. It's going to be a jam-packed episode. We are first going to go to Apple Pan Burger. Then we're going to go watch a basketball game between the Loyola Marymount Lions and the San Diego Toreros. And then we're going to finish off the night going to a place called Cha Boba in Culver City, California. And it's really exciting. So um, enjoy this view, guys. And I hope you guys are ready. It's going to be a fun episode. So see you guys at Apple Pan. Guys, I got the food and I got to walk a little bit. So I thought I'd give some facts about the Apple Pan because it's really impressive. I mean, this place is older than In-N-Out. Like, um, In-N-Out was founded in 1948. This place was founded in 1947. So granted, it's only a year. But nonetheless, I mean, this place has lasted a really long time. They've been featured on a lot of TV shows and like, you know, YouTube channels. And if, I think for the longest time up until the pandemic, like you could only pay in cash. And I couldn't get any shots of the inside because I'm, they, they did all the ordering, you get the order outside of the place. So unfortunately, I couldn't show you guys the shots of the inside. Uh, but there are like YouTube videos and like it's been featured on places. So you guys can, uh, you guys can research it. All right guys, we're gonna give you guys the first shot of the burr. Look at this. It is gorgeous. Here are the fries. Those are good. Super hyped for the fries. Okay, so I got a hickory burger. Now they only have two kinds of burgers, the hickory burger and the steak burger. I believe the hickory burger has a certain type of relish. So um, I think that's the difference. The steak burger is more traditional. This one is very traditional as well, but just a, you know, a little bit. Um, I'm like, guys, it smells amazing. Like this. Go, let's go for a bike. Oh my god. There's stuff on my face, I know. <laughs> Whoa! This is incredible. Holy shit. <laughs> This is without a doubt one of the best things I've ever eaten. I know I said in my um, last video that egg sandwich was one of the best things I've eaten in a while, but this is one of the best things I've ever eaten, period. This is easily like one of the best burgers I've ever had. Oh my God. It is so, oh my God, the meat is so good. The, whatever that sauce relishes is fucking perfect. Sorry, I like trying to keep this PG, but this is so good. Maybe I'll bleep it out. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try a fry, guys. Super good as well. This is, this is awesome. <laughs> I feel like when you hear about places that are so hyped, you're like, okay, this is place be great. But rarely does a place blow my mind. And this place just blew my mind. Oh my gosh, this is seriously, the fries are really good, but this burger is seriously one of the best burgers I've ever eaten. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to eat the rest of this burger. And I got one more thing to show you guys that I got from there. So let me finish first. All right, guys, it's time. Look at this apple pie guys oh shit <laughs> all right guys this apple pie looks insane like oh my gosh okay let's eat this pie guys oh wow it is flaky This is really good. <laughs> I just went crazy about the burger and now I'm just calling the pie really good. No, this is a seriously a really good pie. Um, 
So I'm from San Diego, so um, we have something called julienne pie. And if you've never heard of julienne pie, get some julienne pie or look it up. Julienne pie is incredible. This is really good. And I think it's very flaky. It's very soft. It's not too sweet, which I love. I'm happy. This is a really good meal. I'm very happy. I'm very satisfied. Once again, the place is called The Apple Pan. It's in West LA. Please go check it out. It's historic, it's iconic, and it's good. So good. Really good. Check that out, guys. I'm gonna eat the rest of this pie as well. And after that, we're gonna make our way to Loyola Marymount University. I'll see you guys there. I'm inside Gersten Pavilion on the campus of Loyola Marymount University. We got ourselves 24 minutes till tip off. You know what's happening.
Okay, I gotta say, this is the second straight game I've been to with no cheerleaders. And I'm pretty sure they knew I was coming because, you know, uh, it's me. <laughs> Give it to him. He's feeling it. Oh, nice pass. That was a really fun game and like my last three games they've all ended in single digits uh, but the Toreros of San Diego took this one 69 to 65. Nice. <laughs> in terms of the actual venue I really like our Pavilion. It's a really cool place. I like how each um, part of the stadium is color coordinated. I thought that was really cool and I'm really happy the crowd got into it because after that Fullerton game where I was the loudest one in the gym I'm the visiting, like, road person. Let's go defense! Oh! No! I thought, I thought it was really fun to have the other people in there. Granted, I have no bias with those teams, but it was a super fun venue, and I get into it. Doesn't matter if I'm cheering or not. It's a home team. I like cheering for the home team. I like seeing, at least being into the game, so. I thought Grace Pavilion, Pavilion was cool, so if you guys ever want to check out a game, I do recommend it. It's a cool gym and cool atmosphere. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to be going and get some boba now into Cha Space. I got the name wrong in the intro. I said Cha Boba, but it's Cha Space. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. My girlfriend is telling me how to pronounce it. I hope it's right. But we're going to go inside and check it out. So let's go in. <laughs> guys this looks so cool this looks really good this is like this is called the supernova i believe it has hibiscus butterfly tea um let me check this out oh my gosh that is really refreshing this is a good i love wow i love this it tastes like a really like toned down gummy bear, like a gummy candy. You know, like, you know gummy candies are really sweet. This has that like taste, but it feels really toned down. Okay, guys, let's try it with the boba. I ordered one with boba and lychee jelly. Oh, that's good. Boba soft. Because I love it. And I love the lychee jelly in this. Really cool drink. This is a super cool place, by the way. I love the setup. It's very... I love the logo. 
it's so cute. Everything in that store is just really artistic and like just has this nice, cool aesthetic, like really pretty aesthetic. This is such a cool place. So I'm giving the Supernova an eight, eight boba balls out of 10. This is really good. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Go check out Gersten Pavilion at LMU. Go check out Jazz Space and go check out Apple Pan, guys. I will see you all at the next game. Peace.